Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we are standing, shall we bow our head before the Lord in honor to his glorious name as we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, you are the rock of ages. We bless you this morning because of who you are. And that's why we say, oh Lord, hide us in you. Let us find refuge, safety, security in you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us be cured from any diseases and sicknesses by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us be blessed, O oh God, in you. Amen. O Lord, we ask that you speak to us today, the living world. Give us the bread of life. Do what only you can do in our means this morning as we come before you. Touch our heart. Cleanse us from any infirmities in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we ask today, destroy every spirit that is not in you, that dwells in us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remove from all us, O oh Lord, every spirit or forms of spirit of self-righteousness in the name of Jesus. Amen. And impute your righteousness in us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Destroy every works of the enemy. Amen. Destroy the works of the devil. Destroy the spirit, O oh God, that is not of you this morning. Every ascent-mindedness spirit, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of wandering thought and sleeping in the service, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit that Block the heart of men and cause them not to be sensitive to the spirit. Father, remove from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speak to us. Speak that we will hear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take charge, O oh God, Amen. that when we live here, we will not remain the same way we came. Amen. Reveal your word. Reveal yourself. Empty us of ourselves and let more of you be indulged into us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That when we live here, we will smell like men that have come to worship, like women that have come to worship, like children that have come to the house of the Lord in the name of Jesus. But Jesus said, The word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Father, quicken our body. Transform us, O God, that we will once participate in the transform transfiguration. Amen. That we will say, O Lord, build the tabernacle. Amen. That we will see you, Father. That we will not say we have come to church like how others came. But we will say we have come to the house of God. Amen. And we have been touched. Amen. Father, touch us by the power of the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> do what only you can do. Amen. Let there be an encounter today for every individual that has stepped their leg to this sanctuary. Amen. Let there be an encounter with you. Amen. Let there be a relationship with you. Amen. Let there be a link, O oh God, of grace that we will obtain mercy today. Amen. Do what only you can do. Amen. Speak, O oh God, to us. Amen. As the choir minister, minister Lord, Amen. as the word will come. Minister us to us, Lord. Amen. We need you. Amen. In this crooked world, speak to us, Father, Amen. as we give you praise and honor. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. 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 We can be seated as a choir minister.
is the Lord of Lords. Yes. In our uh, Sunday school today, our uh, teacher teaches about the bread of life. That is the one that will last and last forever. Yes. What people are looking for today is the one that they will eat after going to the, uh, to the toilet that is going to perish. The one the, uh, the, the Israelites, the one that was descended from heaven, before you know it, they begin to complain. You remember? They complain that it's just too light. Give us another one. It is the word of God that you will eat that will last for everlasting in you. And this is what people don't want today. They only want where there will be shouting. They only want where there will be miracles. And the greatest miracle you can ever think of is the word of God. Amen. 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 Let's open our Bible while we proceed with uh, our teaching to the book of Hebrews. It has something to do with the Sunday school. It has something to do. That's why I want us to in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Actually, the whole of that chapter talks to us. But let's read only uh, the verse 1. Therefore, mm -hmm. leaving the principle of the doctrine of Christ. Okay. Can, can, can we have another version? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I want. What, what version is that? Uh, new yes. Let us leave the what? The elementary. Elementary, yes. Uh -huh. And go on to the maturity. And go on to the maturity. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts mm -hmm. that lead to death. Mm -hmm. And of faith in God. Mm -hmm. Instruction about baptism. The laying... Let, let, let's, let's leave it like that. Let, let's leave, leave, it, leave it like that. You will remember in this our series, we were talking about uh, giants and the baby or dua. You remember? We talked about it so much. Because what we are working upon is going to last us so many days. But we are not going to do it straight up. So that uh, sometimes when you eat bread, you try to eat Edomie, try to eat rice. Amen. 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 Spiritual growth and personal development. That is the teaching. Shall we pray? Father, once again we are before you. It is you we need. It is you that can satisfy us. No other place that we can get satisfaction but from you only. Today, Lord, as I stand before your children today, let them get satisfaction in you today in the name of Jesus. Let the food that you have already prepared that I be dishing out and give it to them, let it give them satisfaction in their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it meet their yearnings in the name of Jesus. Amen. And at the time we will be going today, let everybody have every cause to say hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 He said, therefore, let us lift the kindergarten and move. You know, when one starts school, you start 
from somewhere and we begin to go and you begin to move, you begin to move. You don't go to, to the top from the beginning. Otherwise, you'll be confused. Amen? Amen. The, the, what people are looking for, you will see that uh, Jesus, even when he, he was, he, he was pastors and he said, what do you want to actually go into the, the wilderness to look at? He was talking about John the Baptist. Is it the word that is coming out from him that you are going there to, to wash? Or what is it? Or the type of clothes that he put on? Is that what you go there for? Because I cannot see anything working in you. When the word of God comes out and walk, and walk in our life, our life will be changed. Amen? Amen. Our life will, will turn around. If our life is not turning around, it's just a waste of time. The food that we eat, it can only make us grow in, in, in just growing for growing sake. But we will still be hungry again. But when we eat the word of God, it will be all, always be new. You see so many places that you have read in the Bible. Another guy, when you read it, God will interpret it to you in a way that is different to the way you have been hearing it before. That is the word of God for you. If the word of God is not new to you, I remember when I was doing the medication, medication administration. Some people who have done it before, med administration. Yes, they call something tolerance. When you begin to use one medication all the time, it will not work anymore. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You see, eh? What do, what do we call it? Uh, yes. You see, because it's not going to work anymore. Because it, it is already... Uh, it, 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 yes, it's the parts of, of your system. <coughs> my doctor told me that any time I have uh, malaria, a long time ago, that I should not use a leaf again. Because he asked from me, what do you normally use? I said, I use a leaf. He said, a leaf is good, but when you will need a leaf, it will not work in you again. Some people, the word of God has become like that to them. Whereas the word of God is supposed to continue to renew us. Amen? Amen. That's why you see some people, they, they don't care anymore. When the word of God is going around, they just say, I've had it before. Because it does not mix with faith in them. Amen. Amen. So, we begin to look at I told you today that we are going to be looking at the need for cleansing. If we want to grow, cleansing is important. Cleansing is what? Important. Cleansing from sin is important. And when we begin, that, that's why I said the stages in, in Christendom. First of all, I remember, I remember I told you about the, uh, the, 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 the soul shot, or what do you call it, the heart shot that we used in those days. When the word of God is coming out, the word of God will, will, will terrify you that what you are hearing, that thing that you are hearing, is, is in your life. Then we begin to have change of, of, of heart that I will not do this thing again. That's the stage. And when we, we press forward, the next thing that we are going to get is salvation of our, our soul. Something will come into our life that we change our thinking, we change our life, we change our, 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 our response to the word of God. So that, 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 then, that day, you will see that you have the salvation of your soul. 
And you will not stay there. Going forward, the way the word of God begins to come out, then it will be giving you that what you need to do is to make restitution. Then it will be easy for us to do restitution. I will be going on, going on, going on, going on like that. That is when we leave the uh, the baby babies baby baby, uh, baby baby station. Then we are going on further. This reminds me of when I was growing uh, when I was growing up. Before I married at all, I have a friend. And we so much love ourselves. And uh, anytime I go to visit him, and he come to visit me, what we normally do, I don't know how you can say it in English. We used to do a refa. I don't know. Uh, eh? Rough, play. rough play. Okay, rough play. Like, uh, this, like, uh, when when the end is if come, they used to do that one. That's what we'll be doing. That time I'm not married, it's not married. We we just uh, we we learned the tailoring job the same almost the same place. So we have we love ourselves. He has not entered the house, I've not entered the house, there's nothing we are thinking. So that's what we will do. Do you know the time we stopped that joint, that Erepa, you say rough play, right? Rough. Yes, is that they just made him a uh, show glass. You know, in, in, in the learning shop in those days, they used to have show glass that you are going to put clue. They still do. Huh? They still do, okay. That day we were doing that Erepa, we broke the glass. <laughs> That's when we stopped that uh, because we, 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 we now call ourselves. We are, we are growing up now. It's not married. I'm not married. I'm talking about this. This is around 1964 or 65. Yes. I remember. I just prayed from when I was young. And if we see us, then both of us and some of my friends, every new style that is coming out, you will see us there. My head is not like this then. There is, uh, there is hair. We don't used to comb it. We used to brush it. I don't know whether you you, you pass through that thing. <laughs> we used to brush it. So it would be like, uh, it's not going to be exactly like the new boys of nowadays that they... <laughs> but we do it that everybody will know that this... Huh? Uh -huh, that, uh -huh, that, is it, you understand what I'm talking about? The, the, the pants, the trouser, we call the trouser where I come from. The trouser we wear is different to the people that are already grown up. You, you understand it? Because we, we, don't, we don't have anything that we are thinking of. Nobody changes us before we change. Amen? That is growth. Growth. If you are growing, everything will be changing. Everything will be changing. There used to be a time that my slunger, that my all my apprentice know, is that I must drink one uh, seven up a day. Seven up. Seven. <laughs> it's the seven up that is popular at that time. That is, so I will put seven up in, on, in front of me. Nobody tells me before I don't even drink it again. So when you are growing up, something will take something from you. That is why it is important for us to grow. Amen? Amen. If you plant uh, you, 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 you plant corn or plant any plant, and that plant is not growing, you will not be happy. They, they call something Anko, Anko Borua in Nigeria. Some people took money and they plant rice and plant everything. Some people, they are on, they, are, they were not growing. Some people, when the flood came, it took everything away. You will not be happy. Amen? Amen. So, when we are in Christendom, we need to grow. 
That is when if the wind comes, if it is when it is blowing, it will not blow us away. A lot of people that we accepted Christ together at that time, a lot of them, the wind has already blown them down. A lot of people when they don't have money. My wife used to say something. Somebody who has no money, they used to uh, put somebody's act on. It's sweet in Yoruba. If you don't have money, you will not you will not be yourself. You'll be acting in another way. You understand what I mean? But immediately you begin to take pressure. Look at the people that you, we, we, they will just come from Africa. Then you will say, okay, come and stay with me. Well, if you say you should be taking your head to the bathroom and bath you at that particular time, you will, you will be ready to do it. With joy. Yes, with joy. <laughs> but immediately they will begin to take check. They take first check. Second chef, uh, it will be a very good person to take the third one before it begins to change. <laughs> Some people came to us they, because a lot of people live in my house. When they come, I was washing my car. He said, Ah, ah that, daddy, that's the work I do in uh, Lagos. He said, Bring it. He washed my car. He said, Let me wash him. Um, mommy's car. Thinking that that is how it's going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Then I begin to take them, take them here because they want not to. I will take them to this place, take, showing them so many things. Because, oh, I said, this boy is going to be very nice and very useful. Immediately he gets job. First patient, second patient. Formally, when, when, when he wants to eat, Mommy, we say, uh, take, take soup in the fridge now. The next thing we will see, in my basement, then, where, that is where we, start, we started the, 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 this uh, fellowship. Okay. So, we can be sick, sleeping here. The next thing we will see, they go and look for a uh, small pot. They cook pot. The pot, the soup, uh, they, they, they be eating the pot. It's no more, it's no more <laughs> It's no more good. You see, that is the habit of human being. The next thing you will see is that they say they, they are hiding gari for them. This is the thing that you will call them, come and take this. They say, my wife said, don't even wait for me. You see, this is the fridge. Go in there, take whatever you, you want. They begin to have complaint, complaint, complaint until they left. They now tell me that uh, I don't know uh, our church is in uh, the church they don't even see before. <laughs> there, somebody just told me that our church is yeah, I don't know. So uh, I, that is human being. Amen. Amen. We, the only place where you can get satisfaction is in God. Yes. Amen. And we want to be looking at what you need to get that satisfaction. Amen. Amen. The, what, the first one that I want to talk about is cleansing. Cleansing. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. The first thing is fellowship. Yes. Romans 3 23. For all our sins. The first thing is that we have to know ourselves that we are among that all. For all, that is for everybody, that is referring to Adam and to you. Yes? And come short mm -hmm. of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption Does that only Christ. that 23. Amen. Amen. Fellowship with God is impossible without being cleansed from sin. Amen. Amen. We are looking at spiritual growth 
and personal development. We have not even touched personal development at all. We only touch it by the side. But another time, by the grace of God, we will walk on that. Failure to cleanse ourselves separates us from both temporal and internal blessing. Failure to cleanse ourselves, to accept ourselves as a sinner and be ready for cleansing. We separate us from both temporal and internal blessing from God. Let's look at the book, book of Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. Behold, Behold the Lord hand is not shutting. That we, we must know that the Lord hand is not shutting. That is, the Lord hand is long. Yes? That it cannot save. That it cannot save. Some of you say, uh, I said, well, God cannot save me because I have sinned too much. There is no much sin that we can sin that God cannot save us. The only thing that is important is for us to know that we have sinned. Accept yourself as a sinner. If you want to be clean, you have to accept yourself as somebody that has sinned. Some people will say, the, 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 the faith of my father is enough to save the whole of the family. Is that correct? No! You are an individual. What do I say you are? Yes, immediately the word of God comes out. That is the word of God that people don't want to hear because they are babies. They are babies. All the world. And, and with, with, with the word of God, many people don't even want to come to church. They will say, word of God, word of God, word of God, every time. Uh, when I used to come to this country, they invited me to a church. I stayed a lot long in that church in New Jersey. When the general overseer came from uh, Nigeria, he said, he told uh, the pastor he invited me. This man always pre pre preach about sin, 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 sin. He didn't have another thing to preach. Sin, 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 sin. What's, what what separates us from God? Sin. sin. They want me to preach on what is going to bring in money. Prosperity. Is prosperity bad? No. It's not. But they don't care. Uh, somebody sent uh, one WhatsApp to me. When I sent it to, 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 to our chat, not knowing that they couldn't know where that, they, they preach that preaching. That man says, uh, in, in Nigeria, you say, anybody that uh, your age, if you, if you are 30 years of age, 30,000. <laughs> 25 years. 25,000. Uh, I don't know whether anybody, any, do you watch it? Uh, uh -huh. If you are 50 years, 60,000. <laughs> and, and the preacher was a very popular preacher. Very popular. Amen. Amen. It's not the downside. I won't. I won't mention it. Amen. 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 Is it? Is it? Is there anything bad in, in contributing for the work of God? No. no. There are some. There are some people that are sixty years that they are a money. They are dwarf. <laughs> I remember when 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 my children was calling the Tolu. They will say it's, it's old in money. They used to borrow money from him. They say, oh, that guy, no, They borrow money. They will say, can you borrow me so, 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 so? Because 
they, they, when they give them their own money, they will use it, and Tolu will keep his own. He will say, it's, it's an adult, adult in, 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 in the morning. <laughs> Amen. They are some 60 years old that they, they cannot even contribute 20,000. Mm -hmm. Even 10,000. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he was saying it, that if you want blessing, bring it so, 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 so. Listen to it. Still, I send it to you. Send it to <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, many churches today, the way they gather people is is God not still not doing miracle? Yes. Is still doing it that you can force it? Amen? Amen. Is there anything in, the, in, 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 in speaking in tongue? No. no. But many people are faking it today, yes. and that's where people will want to go. Mm -hmm. people, my pastor said, my pastor that I used to talk about, <laughs> is dead now. He said, somebody come to me, say, pray for me. Then after praying for that person, after, say, what do you see? Say, I see, he say, I, say, I see you. I see you. If you don't tell them, that's why people lie today. Because if you tell them, okay, I see one yellow woman is, is, is in trouble. I see one yellow, yellow woman. In your family, is the one doing this, is the one doing that. So if you come tomorrow, if you don't say anything, they will, ah, that man is, is no more. It's, it's no more man of God. People tell, tell a lot of lies today. And why? Because we that are, they are telling a lie to, we are baby. What do I call you? Baby. Baby. I don't know who can confuse me. <laughs> that person, they have not gone that person. I believe there is vision. I believe there is miracle. I believe that if I am not pleased with what you are doing, I will just be looking at you. Somebody, one, one of my friends will say, continue to say it, but I know you are lying. <laughs> continue to say, I'm ready to listen, but I know you are lying. If you say you want to eat, and you need money from me. Let me know. There's no time you are going to call them that they will not have something to say. They will say, ah, did you sit on red shear yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> then you will be, they will not say at church. Did you see, sit at the red shear yesterday? Then you will be thinking, oh, yes, 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 yes. The sister Michelle's house. <laughs> Amen. And they will tell you what to do. So, we must grow. What do I say we must do? God will not allow us to have any trouble in our life. A lot of people that they, they, they do more are the people that have trouble. And this one can take away our trouble. It can take it away. Amen? Amen. Uh, before, when I still, I was still going to see him, heaven. But a friend took me to one prophet, and the, and when we get to that, that's the last time I ever go to prophet. <laughs> that prophet said, he saw he saw uh, coconut, he saw coconut, and when I was trying to take that coconut. That book will not begin to go up. Begin to go up. <laughs> My hand cannot take it. He said, now ask, what is this? Eh? There is somebody in my father's house that did not allow my hand to, to get that coconut. That's the last time I go to any prophet. God is my witness. Thank God, within a short period, they preached Jesus Christ to me. Amen. Amen. That's why I say God will not allow any of us to have trouble. Amen. It's trouble that two people to there. Because they, a lot of them, they are liars. Yes. They just want to take our money. And simply because we are babies. Two things. 
baby problem. That's the one that used to push people to that place. Amen? Amen. There is no time you will go there that you will not have any message. Yes. The day you don't have any message, you will not believe that man is good. He's not going to be no more praying. Amen. Let's live totally sin in our life. And let's focus on God. There is nothing he cannot do without any bodies. Amen? 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 Amen. There is nothing. He has the power. But sometimes when we are weighed down with trouble, it's, it, it, somebody that is strong will be like somebody that is weak. You, you understand what I'm saying? Some people know what I'm saying. This thing that I'm saying, they know, but, but because of trouble. And when we begin to shout in the ears of God, it's going to, it's going to listen to us. Amen. 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 So we need to cleanse ourselves from sin. That is point number one. So that's why David says, if I allow sin in my life, God will not do what? He will not hear me. But if you don't allow sin in your life and something is still happening in your life, you can come, come to God and say, God, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You told me not to do this. I didn't do it. You told me to worship you. I worship you. You told me to rely on you. I rely on you. Why will you allow the jesters to jest on you? Amen. 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 So this is very, very important. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. I rely on you. Mm -hmm. For the cowardly, unbelieving, ab abominable murderers. Sexually immoral, mm -hmm. sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their parts in the lake of in the lake wild bound with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Amen. Okay. A backslider individual or church needs spiritual cleansing. As God will not use a corrupt instrument to accomplish his purpose. God will not use a corrupt church or person to accomplish his purpose. So we must claim ourselves of anything that God told us that is not good. Amen. Isaiah 52, verse 11. Isaiah 52, 11. Cleansing ourselves. Depart ye. Depart ye. Mm -hmm. Go ye out from and from then ends. Touch no unclean thing. Mm -hmm. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be be ye clean mm -hmm. that bear the vessel of the Lord. Be ye clean, everyone that bear the vessel of the Lord. That is, if you are a child of God, if you are a minister, be ye clean, people that bear the vessel of the Lord. When we are clean before Him, he may not do everything that we want at the particular time that we want it because he has his own time and his own pace. Amen? Amen. But he will do it. He will do it. If he don't do it for us, who is he going to do it for again? It's only for us. He's our father. He knows us more than we even know ourselves. A congregation we are seeing is covered and cherished 
the Holy Spirit will be grief and the fire of revival will be quenched in that congregation and in that home and in that life. Amen? Amen. You, you, are, are you following me? Yes. Cleansing. For us to grow in spirit. For us to grow in our life as a child of God. We need to clean ourselves of sin. Say, if I allow sin in my life, God will not hear me. There are some times that we think God doesn't hear us, that God hears us, but God has uh, uh, postponed it by purpose. And sometimes God will say, you don't need it. Sometimes God will say, I will give you, but not now. Amen? Amen. Because he knows us. There are some things we have that, 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 that is going to take us to where we don't want. That's why you don't have, in this country now, somebody that is not up to 15 or 16, they don't allow them to, to drive alone. Because you cannot handle it. It's not babies, uh, because when when problem comes, it can take the life of that person away. Amen. Amen. It, can, it, it can happen. So, what is for baby is different from what is for adult. Amen. Amen. I told you the other time that baby don't marry. Where you marry, you, you get baby, baby will get baby and you have problem. Yes. They will get problem. You will see that young people's marriage used to have a lot of problem. Used to have a lot of problem. It's God that used to help them. Amen. That's why they need mentors. They need somebody beside them. You go to, to the south, you are from the north, you go to the south to take somebody that you don't even know anything about. And you want to be living together. The way he does he, his or her thing may be different from the way you do your own thing. So there will be problem unless if God really helped them. You see a lot of uh, young, 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 young marriages used to have problems. Amen. 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 A Christian backslider, when he goes into the wilderness, experience and will no longer hear from God, neither will he enjoy daily fellowship with God again. Look at uh, the prodigal son. When he went to, to the wilderness, he, he himself demanded to go to the wilderness. He was in his father's house. You, you know that? Yes. Mm -hmm. in, the book, in, in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, don't read it. We all know it. He went there. See, uh, they say that the person don't know that uh, something that is plenty will finish. Mm. He went to the father, you see? That you are very rich. But I know you must you might have had a will for me. But I, I don't want you to die before you give me the will. Give me now. <laughs> I need the will now. I will manage it very well. Mm. Well, that's okay. I don't care. This is your own. Thinking that it's not going to finish. Just like uh, the person I say stayed with me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And when it got there, it's not the one who did the work now. You begin to squander it. You begin to take a lot. Use the best, uh, the best hotel. And when you have money, many people will be your friend. Because they are ready to spend that money with you. But if that is stop. That's when you will know people who love you. The time things are still going on very well. Everybody will love you. 
He was, ah, he said, very, ah, very nice, very generous. <laughs> you will hear that. That, that, that person is squandered money too much. <laughs> the moment you don't have that money to squander again, they go, ah. <laughs> I didn't eat anything out of uh, his money. They will forget the one they have had. They will forget. They will forget that. They will, the, the, the statement will not be clear. Uh, or do you hear what I mean by yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. In, in one side, you will be remembering what you did for him or for her. But in the other side, wait, 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 wait. Amen. Amen. Let us clean ourselves of sin. Then we go to God and demand whatever we want. With fasting, with prayer, with commitment. Amen? Amen? Don't let it be only the time things are going on for you. Very good. That's when you will say, Ah, God, God is my God. He's my God. No. The time things are a little bit hard. Let it still be your God. Amen? Amen. Things cannot continue to go the same way at all times. Things might, might be harsh a little bit. God will still be God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Cleansing is very, very important in uh, growth. I told you, if you plant a garden, there is corn there, there is a different type of uh, crops there. You will go there and clean, clean the place of weed. Otherwise, weed will spoil it. Weed will spoil it. The person you you both planted your garden at the same time, if you begin to go and look at this garden, why is this garden like this? Is this garden is like that because he always clean it up. Let me tell you, even if your prayer has not been answered. If you believe that you, your, your life is clean before the Lord, you will have rest of mind. You say, what? I, I'm not going to... They say, bro, have you got that? I've not got it, but I believe God because you don't do it. Because your heart is clean. But if you have done something wrong, the spirit, your spirit, your own spirit will be telling you, you know. That's why I say, some people... But if you have sinned, if you are a child of I'm talking to a child of God now. If you have sinned, if you go to your knee, sometimes you will not have something to say, to pray. You say, Good God, forgive me. Forgive you for what? Forgive me. Because you don't know what to pray about because you are remembering what you have done against God. Amen? Amen. Let us be clean before the Lord. Then let's go to him straight. That is why the word of God is so, so, so important. That's why he said, I am the bread of life. Jesus is the word of God that you can eat and it's going to be in you for the rest of your life. If we eat any other bread, any other food, if you don't purge, you will go to the doctor. I've been eating for the past three, four, five days. I have not even go to the toilet once. The doctor will say, okay, take this, take that. We need to purge ourselves on time. Amen? Amen. That is the essence of fasting sometimes. It is not fasting that answer prayer. Fasting will allow you to subdue your flesh. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's the work fasting do. That's why you see some people, they will fast, fast. Some people just uh, finish fasting. Now. When it's about uh, 22, 23, they will say, ah, it's not for fasting. No. I like this lady. <laughs> you, you understand? So immediately, as if they are in jail, they just... Uh, Release them from jail. You will see the, 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 the bear on the table. What, what are you doing? 
I'm doing fasting. What do you call it? Celebration. Is it celebration? No, it shouldn't be. Do you understand me? It's the time you purge yourself. I could see the affairs now, they are telling them that don't go back to those things that you fasted about. Some people will say, ah, that is me. You are that very, very fine. It's not because I'm fasting. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Should be so. Cleansing is so important in, in development. Amen. 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 Cleansing bring about spiritual health, which is necessary condition for spiritual growth. Cleansing bring what? Spiritual health. If you are healthy spiritually, even you will be happy. Amen. Amen. You'll be happy because you are healthy spiritually. If you are not healthy spiritually, you will not be happy. One of my Younger brother that just died, the wife was, when I was so sad, she was, she was telling me that, let me give you one story, Eddie. He said, last time, my, dad and my brother was sick, and uh, after all, she, he was healed again, before the one that killed him. He said, he said, uh, he gave testimony that, uh, that the last time he was sick, he saw himself that he has gone and he was in a very beautiful place. There were white, there were people that wore white, they were embracing him, this and that. But suddenly they just here, yeah, oh, who healed him? He said he was not happy. That's that, that healing brought him back to life. He said, if anything happens again, please, my, my wife, don't pray for me, let me go. Amen. 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 It's not easy to die. But if we die, if we die in the Lord, we are going to heaven. Yes. And that's the most important thing. Amen. Amen. Heaven is the only place that we will go and we will not come back. Amen. But we will be happy if we live our life for God. Let's live our life for God. All these things we are gathering in this world is temporary. What did I say? Yes, oh, the church is at 3,000. Yes. Very good. Are we not praying to, to, to increase? Yes. There's nothing bad in me, but how many people are saved there? That's the most important thing. Ah, oh, he's so rich. He just bought an aeroplane. Yes. How much, uh, which, of, which of it will he take? when it was good. Somebody died and, and one person asked, did he take anything when he was good? So he said, take nothing. Nothing. Your certificate, you're not going to take it. Your money, you're not going to take it. And we don't know when that is going to come. Let us claim ourselves. Anytime, anytime, anywhere we are, let that thing come to us that even if today I die, I'm going to help you. Even the children that love you most, when one dies and they will say, come and put a uh, dust or sun, if this is how they will do. <laughs> they will yes! They will say, be careful there. Why is he be careful? I don't want to fall inside. It's you. You and you alone. No matter how your wife loves you. No matter how your husband loves you. No matter how anybody loves you, they will not go with you. Even if they want to go, after rescue them, the police will, will, will arrest that person. They will say, want to kill himself. Because each person will answer for themselves. And we don't know when this will happen. Amen. 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 Let your life please God. Your life may not please pastor. 
Your life may not please anybody, but let your life please God. If your life please God, then you, what, number one, in this world, you will continue to grow. You will continue to grow in the Lord. And number two, if death should close your eyes, you go to heaven. Yes. No matter, it is, when we are in this world, that we, it is only the people that left in the world that we say, what kill him? Whatever kills you. Some, something is just to kill somebody. And it doesn't matter where they bury you. It doesn't matter the type of pain that kill you. The people go go out and kill, and the people they, they, they die in the house. What is it? Death. It's the same death. Death is death. Death is death. But when we die, we must die in Christ so that we can live in Christ. I believe a time is coming when we will all gather together at the foot of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, I have seen some people that they are in their house. Motor enter the house and kill them there. What is their fault? Motor, the house is beside the road. If you buy a house that is beside the road, you used to be happy now. You will see everything that is going on. And motor just enter the house, be. And kill about two people. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I pray for you. You need to grow in Christ. By the grace of God, when God permit again, we are going to come back to this uh, teaching. And we will move forward. If God, if God give us the chance. Amen. But the word we have got right now, let us hold it tight. And may God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I need two, three questions before we pray. If there is. Growing spiritually, physically, and morally. That's what we have just talked. If there's nobody having a question, I want you to examine yourself. Supposing the call rang today, am I going to heaven? Where will I be? Is there anything in my life that is not giving glory to God? Is there anything in my life that is pulling me back to my vomit? Is there anything in my life that is pushing me into what I have renounced before? I want you to bow down right now. Talk to God. Yes, you are saved. But you have some restitutions to do. Is there any way you have misfired? Is there anything that you have done that you are not supposed to do? When this word of God comes, I want you to say, Lord, forgive me. If I allow sin in my life, God will not hear me. To grow in grace, we need cleansing. We need God clean me. God repair me. Everything that need repairs in my life, repair me, Lord. Let's pray that prayer. Let's talk to God. I live for Jesus day after day. Do you live for Jesus day after day? Do you live for Jesus day after day? Is there anything telling you that what you are doing is not good? Are you ready to make an amend?
Don't wait like me that waited until we broke the glass of my friend in his shop before we go back to say that we are growing up. If you are growing up right now, let people see it in your life that you are growing. You are growing in grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, once again, we just want to thank you for your word that has just come out. It centers on cleansing. For us to grow spiritually, we need cleansing. Is there anything that we have done against our wife, our husband, or our, our country where we live, that God is telling us that is sin? I pray for these people right now. Open up their hearts. Let them be able to make amendment. Let them to, 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 to repair themselves. Let them commit themselves to you. The judgment day is for individual, not for a church, not for a family, for individual. Anything that will not allow us to hear your voice on that day, that coming when you are on this world, you have done good. Lord, remove it from us and remove us from it. Do this for us. And I pray for all these little, little children as they are growing. We are showing them the way. Father, give them the insight and the spirit to follow the way that we are showing them. So that their life will be good. So that we parents will be happy over them. And you, God, will be happy over them. I just want to thank you, Lord. We pray for an increase. Increase in knowledge. Increase in spiritual things. Father, do it for us in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, we worship you. Thank you, O Lord, for Sunday one of this lesson, Sunday, Sunday two, and today is Sunday three. We thank you, O Lord, today is the grand finale. Thank you for the man of God that you have been using for us, O Lord, from the beginning of this seminar. Lord, we pray that you replenish him in the mighty name of Jesus. In your glory, give him more anointing in the name of Jesus. Increase in him that he may decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take care of him spiritually, morally, physically in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take care of, of his family and his ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. At the end of the day, O oh Lord, may you count us worthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you are our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Amen.